Uh, we're taking the group of uh, MI-17 qualified uh, Afghan aviators and pilots, and we're transitioning them to the uh, more modern UH-60 Alpha aircraft. Um, so far, we've been doing the first class of six aviators. Uh, it's been great experience for us and for them. They are very motivated. Uh, they're very dedicated. They want to learn. They show up every day. And they're doing a great progress over here because they understand that, that, that we're moving towards the future of um, a bigger and better Afghan Air Force with more capabilities. The work here is, is helping to create a more stabilized Afghanistan uh, because they're, they're, we're bringing them closer to our tactics and procedures. Uh, they're getting a better understanding of the end goal and they understand the capability that the, they'll be more capable. They'll be able to perform more missions, uh, expand the force uh, of the Afghan Air Force. Uh, they also be closer to tactics and procedures of NATO and other coalition partners, uh, which will expedite the way that we work together hand by hand to make Afghan a more secure uh, country. My thoughts on how well the, uh, the Afghan and the U.S. military and the combined forces are working out here. Uh, it's been a lot of improvement uh, from personal experience being in Kandahar about five years ago. We did not work together like we do now. Uh, the, the simple fact of thinking of conducting combined missions with the Afghans, it, it was out of the question. And right now, every day, we're out here flying with them. They're out there going in missions. We see them maintain their aircraft, perform their missions, and work side by side with us. So I think it's been a great collaboration and we're making a great progress that you can see in the security of the area. Uh, from, from what I have observed and what I've seen out here, the uh, areas like uh, performing the, the C2OA and the, F, the MD-530 and the MI-17s are examples of the progress they have made. Uh, we see them maintaining their aircraft, we see them flying their missions, uh, we see them fly C-130s over here all the time. So yes, we still partner, uh, we still provide support, but it's not a one-way uh, relationship. They are very capable and they are taking a lot of ownership on, on, on the everyday missions and, and working towards a better future for the country. Today I am very excited. Today is my graduation day. I am feeling very happy and I, I'm excited right now. I, I'm going to serve for the Afghan peoples. Now I'm Black Hawk pilot. Today is a big day for me. Now I am a Black Hawk pilot. I want to help our peoples and our soldiers and uh, our country. Today is a, a dream day for me. Yep. I think the coalition team is all in helping the Afghan and this UH-60 enterprise. From instructors, to airfield management, to tactical planners, all parts of the coalition is helping them not only learn the aircraft, but to employ it successfully. In Bagram Airfield in the Parwan province of Afghanistan, an F-16 Fighting Falcon from the 77th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron, the EFS, out of Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina, lands on October 26 this year. Within hours of arriving, the new F-16s were loaded with munitions and ready to deliver air power in Afghanistan. An F-16 Fighting Falcon pilot from the 77th Expeditionary Fighter Squadron prepares to exit his aircraft after landing at Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan on October 26. Deployed out of the 20th Fighter Wing, Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina, the 77th EFS deployed to Bagram Airfield as part of a rotation of fighters which have had a constant presence in Afghanistan for more than a decade. We 
should be incredibly proud of this first step in your military career. You will forever be a part of this academy and you will always have our continued support. I want to remind you that you will never stop learning. You are the promise and the future of this great country. Much will be asked of you and you will be required to make at times very difficult decisions. But we know that from your selfless commitment to volunteering to serve your country and the first class training that you have received here at ANOA, that together you will excel and help to make a safe and secure and safe, stable Afghanistan. This should be an extremely proud day for you and your family and your friends as gaining a commission to the Afghan National Army is a significant achievement that warrants all of our respect and pride. Your training has not been easy, but it was not supposed to be. Training is designed to be difficult so that it better prepares us for the responsibilities that we have chosen to assume. Training together helps us to understand each other and instills confidence in our own abilities. It makes us ready to assume the greatest honour that can be given to an officer, which is to command and to lead soldiers.